your unique story, our global audience. Global One Media. Well, welcome to Global One Media's exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews with company executives sharing insights into their unique journey. I'm your host, Ashley Berry, and today, Elliot Sorella, Executive Chairman and CEO of Ecolomundo is here with us. It's a green technology company that recycles hydrocarbon waste into commodity products. Ecolomundo is listed on the TSXV as ECM and the OTCQB as ECLMF. Elliot, Happy New Year. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Ashley, and the same to you. I'm actually anxious to get going, and uh, hopefully uh, it will be an, an enjoyment to everybody that listens to this podcast. Absolutely. You know, for our viewers who are not yet familiar with Ecolomundo and its technology, perhaps you could give us a brief overview of the company and how it's playing a very important role in the circular economy. So basically what our technology does is that we take end of life hydrocarbon waste in this, in this particular case, uh, end of life tires. And when, after we put it through our process, we bring that waste back to its original components, the original ingredients. And we take those ingredients and we sell it on the, on the, uh, to industry to remake the same products or different products. So the, the, whole, the whole tire is recycled to be reused into other products. And that's the circular part of it. Mm -hmm. And I, I'd really like to congratulate you on the recent news, the stamp of approval from a third party for the ISO certification. Very exciting kicking off the new year. Perhaps you could walk us through the key milestones that Ecolomundo was able to accomplish in 2022. Those milestones were achieved because we're gearing now towards our plant in Hawkesbury that we just finished, $45 million plant. We'll be able to uh, repurpose over 20,000 tons of end of life tires. Those certifications uh, for us only uh, attest to the fact that we're doing it the right way. We want to respect all these standards, not only the environmental, but also for people and uh, corporately. So it was a great achievement for us, and uh, I, I compliment my staff on that. Well, congratulations to you and your team. Have you received any feedback from those in the industry about your technology and any stories that our viewers might be interested in hearing? We're a major industry player, and we get a lot of feedback. Uh, the feed, most of the feedback that we get from industry is they actually they find us to be an extremely serious player in the industry. Some of the industry actually looks up to us because they see the, our achievements and they see how we're doing things. And uh, you know, uh, it's it's a great achievement when your your peers are telling you that you got a great thing going and they look up to the technology and we've done things right at Ecolomondo. We, uh, the, contrary to a lot of industry players that tell people that, uh, you know, they announce what they're going to do. We only announce what we do. Hmm. And for, for us, that is important. The industry does take it serious. You know, uh, talking about stories, many people actually ask me, how did you get into this business? So I got into it over 15 years ago, and right from get-go, I saw the potential. And uh, not knowing at that particular time the amount of investment and capital that it would take, uh, I've soon got, once I acquired the company, I soon got into it, and I understood that this was going to be a long, tedious process and was going to take a lot of money. And I committed to it. I achieved it, and the results today is that you will see the Hawkesbury plant that we just completed, and we are at the end of commissioning, is probably the most advanced technological plant on the planet. It sounds like an absolute game changer, and I can truly hear the passion in your voice and how important this mission is to you, um, not just today, but for generations to come and what this means in the industry. 
this, this uh, technology like Colomondo and Colomondo are game cha- game changers, you know, to to our society. Society is uh, our society is, is expanding. There's more people being born every year, and from that, you need more resources. You need more more products. Okay, the only way you can achieve sustainability is by recycling these products. And that's where the circular economy comes in. The circular mm-hmm. economy ensures this recycling. And that's what is going to sustain uh, our planet, sustain society for its generations to come. Absolutely. In the near future, let's talk about what Ecolomundo will focus on this year in 2023. Well, uh, there's many achievements that we've done in 2023, but I, I want to go back a little bit. We've uh, achieved uh, many things in the past. You know, Ecolomondo, our, our pilot plant, was a $60 million investment. Our Hawksbury plant is a $45 million investment. And soon we're going to build our Texas plant that's going to be a $93 million investment. So you can see the amount of investment that requires investment and commitment. So and our, in 2022 and, and in 2023, our commitment was steadfast. Uh, we have achieved much in 2022. We built, finished building our plant in Hawkesbury. Uh, and like I said, it was a $45 million investment that will process 20,000 tons of waste, and that will generate 20,000 tons of renewable resources. Also, in in 2022, we purchased our land for our Texas facility. Mm -hmm. We broke ground to put in the infrastructures in the land. And uh, we we won the Recircle Award for Business Breakthrough. We at Ecolomondo signed the largest order of recovered carbon black in the history of the industry at the highest price. And the, re- the way we achieve that is because we make quality products. We, it, you know, it's decomposed waste and just making other waste is not the way to go. So uh, there's much that we achieve, but I would say our biggest achievement is, is the commissioning of the Hawksbury plant, which is going to be our technological sh- showpiece. Well, you clearly, as you mentioned, you know, this steadfast commitment, you have such a strong, powerful, strategic vision and commitment with the 15 years uh, that you have been with Ecolomundo. My question would be, you know, what will be the main growth factors for the company in the years ahead? We talked about the generational impact. Uh, What are some other growth factors in your mind? Our corporate rollout, our expansion is critical. Having one plant, you're a small player in in a large industry. So you have to become a big player in the industry. You have to, uh, that's why we're building our Texas plant. Our Shamrock plant is going to be three times the size of the Hawksbury plant. We have a few other uh, areas that we're looking in to build uh, more plants. So we at Ecolomondo, where we see the vision of the company and where we see our expansion is not only building these plants, but is operating them and becoming a force in recovered products, mm. become a large industry player that will give our company steady growth. It will give us steady revenue and we can depend on the feedstock, because as I mentioned, the, the population is expanding. More people consume more products, make more waste, and need more products. And that's the circular part of it. Elliot, let's talk a little bit about the investors. You know, why should why should people consider investing, and in, and what is sort of your main mission um, and vision for them, and why this company is is so valuable to the public? Well. The company is value, valuable to, to the public because it's, it serves purpose. It brings a lot of uh, products that we will need with a much lower environmental impact. Uh, you know, CO2 emissions are a critical mass in our society. The ozone layer. We can look at many, many things. 
when it comes to the investor, Ecomondo is a very well managed company. We, we have a great team. We have a great technical team. We're environmentally responsible. We do things right. Investors want see companies in the light that they are. We at Ecomondo have opted uh, for our investors not to hype the company nor hype the stock, but we let the market decide. We want the the stock price or or to, to uh, be valued uh, based on our achievements, not on what we hope to do, and that's the difference between us. And that's why Colomondo is a great investment for all investors because we have tangibles. We were doing things, and we're doing it, you know in a purpose and society itself will ensure our expansion because they're going to consume more products. They're going to buy more products. They're going to buy our recovered products. You know, companies are seeing, we're already seeing it in the market. So mm -hmm. it's a, it's a great thing and it's a great investment. And that's why I still own a large portion of the company. I, I am committed to it. I invest in it and I, I work in it. Wonderful, important insight. And I think that transparency uh, will really resonate uh, with those investors. Elliot Sorella, Executive Chairman and CEO of Ecola Mundo. Always such a pleasure speaking with you. And we look forward to sharing more updates, especially what's happening in the U.S. here coming soon from you with our audience. Thank you, Ashley. It's been an honor.